Yep. I got it. Oh. He almost came in the kayak. Hey, baby. Do you want to come fishing? <laughs> the turpin are rolling, eh? Oh, yeah. All right, I gotta go make this happen. You'll hear me if I hook one. Oh man, a big branch fell down. In the storm last night, the water's dropped a fair amount. Got a couple of rods. Got this little gear hauler, the gear box it's called. All right, so the bait's over there. I gotta grab the bait and then I gotta load everything into my old town. Crabs are alive. This new Summit live scope mount is unbelievable. It drops on like that. Latch on either side. Good to go. Bye, baby. The tarpon are everywhere. So it's nice just for hauling a couple trays. I can have my pliers, any leader material. This is a goodie bag, has most of the stuff I need. People think I'm crazy for trying to catch one in a kayak, but we've done it. We're gonna do it again. All right, this is what we wanted. Fish rolling all over. We're gonna get a crab. Where are we going to the danger zone? Look at the bait. All right. We got two grandmas on duty. Well, I gotta go tarpon fishing. I'm blessed. I think there's a lot of tarpon out here today. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my depth. So I'm using a slip float so I can hover at that perfect depth. So you can see the bait's at 10. The crab is gonna drop to right around 14, which is very close to where we wanna be. There's a big clump of fish at 90 feet, but they're kind of everywhere here. Oh my, it's a sea world right now. I need to give a massive, massive thanks to Jeff Jones for the Florida hospitality. We would not be here if it wasn't for him. And he's actually in Kenora right now, on Lake of the Woods. Funny how that works. Look at all the tarpons sitting on the bottom, 70 feet out. So right now I have this on forward mode, wherever the summit handle is pointing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's so many fish. All right, here we go, 40 feet. That should be pretty perfect. There you can see it dropping down. I'm gonna zoom in on it. We're recording the last couple footage, there's probably like six tarp in there. You can see the split shot falling and the bait's falling. So that bait's gonna go right in the middle of that danger zone. I don't know how much that crab can swim though. So he might start kicking when we get close to the tarpon. Oh, a tarpon just darted up at it. Look at this tarpon's coming up. Oh, and he darted away at the last second. Oh my gosh. Tarpon is gonna eat this crab eventually. My heart is racing. So the problem right now is that crab is so strong, he's swimming, swimming away. I'm gonna pin it a little bit closer. I'm gonna slide my bobber stop a little further away, just a touch deeper. It's all about getting it right in front from what I've seen the last couple days here. 20 feet. I just always wanna go a little bit past so I can swing it towards him. You can see it dropping down there right at 37 feet. There's tarpon right by this crab. Oof. My heart is pounding. There's the crab and there's a tarpon on either side of him. The tarpon is swimming towards us. I am surrounded, okay, I think it's gonna happen here. Oh man. This is just like a dream. And it shows you even with perfect bait in front of fish, everything has to go perfect for a fish to wanna eat. Just gotta keep casting, changing angles. Gotta get a perfect angle on these fish. 
carp and have just incredible eyesight, and especially back in a canal like this, they can just be so particular. This is looking real good right now. That is a giant tarpon. I think it's eyeing up my bait. It's nose down on it. Look at that. It's like a big old walleye. I'm gonna try pulling it away from him a little bit. I'm pretty sure he's like just on it. This is stupid. Come on. Oh, I just got bumped. Oh, I just got bumped. I just had a bite. Oh. This is just the coolest footage. Come on. One of these. Dropping a fresh crab down. He's kicking hard. Swimming right in front of that guy just floating there. This is stupid. Shows you a tough tarpon to catch. Come on. Oh. I think he just bumped the line or something. Will we get a tarpon this morning? That is the question. We're dropping into two or three. I got one. Oh! Man. Yep. Yep. Here we go, here comes the jump. Probably the smallest tarpon I've ever caught, but I ain't complaining. We worked hard for this one. Kept casting in front of fish, kept casting in front of fish. Still so strong. Love it. Just the best way to start your morning. The tarpons seem to not come every day. Some days I'll come out here, live scope see one or two, and today was just loaded, just endless. And even with that, they are so tough to catch. Let's see if I can fight this fish towards my parents. Oh. 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 <laughs> he almost came in the kayak. Oh. <sighs> I think she's done. Hooks out. There she goes. That was fun. All right, we're regrouped after that 
ordeal. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of the two setups I have rigged up. The one is just a slip float. And basically for this, I wanted to be able to present the bait right in front of the fish. We're using live scope. Love it or hate it. Live scope isn't going anywhere. It's just like the most incredible tool for most species, like there's just so many scenarios where this shines right now, being able to pinpoint specific fish with the live scope. Like I said, I got this on the shuttle. I love this new locking mechanism for my kayaks and I can just flip between my kayak, my boat. If I go on a fly in trip, it's ready for ice fishing um, with the summit pole as well. So this is the GPS map that allows me to do the screen recording. And yeah, tarpon are just huge targets to see on live scope. So it's amazing. But even with this technology, you can see it took so many casts right in front of the fish to get one to bite. So just because you can see them, doesn't mean you're gonna get them to eat. Then it's a matter of playing with the gear they're using. So the one setup, this is like a big beefy spinning rod. This is a medium heavy, eight foot, got a 5,000 stratic. This is 50 pound braid. And then I got a float, slip float setup. I think this is 40 pound fluoro. And then a bait hook, it's like a size five live bait hook um, with a split shot just to pin that bait in place anymore. So that's what I caught that fish with. And the other thing they're gonna use too is just a more, you know, finesse approach. This is 30 pound braid, 40 pound fluoro again, but no weights, no swivels, no bobbers straight to a live bait hook and we'll try to swim it, you know, right in front of the fish. Same deal, eight foot. This is a, it says extra heavy power. This is a salt water. This one's called a Talavera. But anyways, you just want a good beefy spinning rod. The, pro, the reason why you gotta use a spinning gear for live bait is because you're casting lighter bait. So it's a little tougher with a bait caster. Um, if you hook a muskie with a bait caster, if you're catching, using a big artificial, you can crank that fish in a lot longer. But with spinning gear, you kinda just gotta put the gears to them, even though you don't have as much power with the spinning setup. But I mean, that one was a smaller tarpon, but came in and five minutes sort of thing and yeah the rule is you have to keep the tarpon wet if it's uh above 40 inches so keep them in the water whatever that means a lot of people lift the head out for a shot which i think is cool but yeah you're not bringing the tarpon into the boat that one very easy to unhook yeah we'll see what there is for fish kicking around here still and with the lab scope thing it's yeah same deal it's like i know it's changing fishing but i it's not going anywhere and i think it's just our responsibility to then teach people how to handle fish and release what needs to be released and we're gonna try a big live crab here ouch ouch he's sharp don't know if my head cam showing this kind of just go in the corner of the crab kind of wear a hole past that barb and there you go look at that bait crab fishing for tarpon all right so right now 60 70 feet it is loaded i should see it hit i can feel that crab swimming that's him swimming down there. Look at that. It is just right above a couple tarpon. Let's see if we can get a bite a little quicker now. I was just putting it in front of so many fish and they were, I don't know if they need a little more finesse or what the deal is, but we'll try it this way. It's goofy, right? I just caught a fish, now I'm changing it, changing it up, but I'm bringing it right on top of a tarpon right now. Oh, I got, yep. Oh, hated again. Oh my goodness, we got one. Instant, right after the other one. Oh no. Oh, wow, that was cool. Wow, that was cool. All right, maybe I should have been going more finesse the whole time. That was instant, first cast after going downsized. So freaking cool. Man, I love tarpon. I'm shaking. Another question I get lots is, well, how tippy are these fishing kayaks? These old towns are so stable for landing a big old tarpon. I just lost another one. There you can see that crab falling down. Let's see if we can find it again. There's the crab. Look at this right into the pit of tarpon. Oh, we are right above like three tarpon. Oh, I think he's following it. Oh, I just got bumped, for sure, I just got bumped. There are so many tarpon in front of us, this is madness. Absolute madness. Hook's good, I'm always checking the hook point to make sure it's free, 40 feet in front. We're going right into the thick of it. I'm just swimming it between the fish. I just got crushed. I think that's him sinking back down. I just got absolutely hammered twice. Imagine being a tarpon and just seeing a crab falling right in front of your face. It's like, how are you not gonna eat that? It's gonna surface. Watch this tarpon. Look at this tarpon's gonna rise. It's gonna rise right there. Oh, sorry, there. 
Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is the craziest thing ever. Oh. Eat out of the mud like a walleye. Come on. Oh, my heart is just racing. I had one just chasing me back and forth and back and forth. Oh, so close. Oh, I just got hit. Might be coming back for it. We were in a little tarpon tornado here. Oh, I thought that guy was gonna come vertical for my bait. Yep. Oh! That's number four I think I've hooked today. It's tough with a crab. Plus a tarpon has a really bony mouth. Not like a shark or something. Well, I think we're gonna call it a morning. Any day you can catch a tarpon is a good day. We hooked four, I think. Landed one by hooked, I guess, four strikes. No, we, I guess we had them on for a little bit, but man, such a blast. Catching them right in front of the place we're staying at. Doesn't get much better. And just like that, she's off. Such a good system. That was a fantastic morning. Yeah, four bites and landed one. Oh, Hanny, did you see my tarpon? <laughs> oh, you gonna rip my microphones off? I just lost the tarpon. Yeah, I know. Okay, bye.